Welcome. The sun is showing unusual levels of activity for solar minimum. So how will the grand solar minimum news explain this away? I thought we were into a disastrous slide into unknown levels of solar activity. A grand solar minimum global emergency had been declared. The sun will not produce sunspots for decades. An onset of a neutral ice age which caused crop failures and mass starvation. And all of this based on a big fat nothing. Well, you're all familiar with my position on this. That we are still in the decline phase of solar cycle 24. We've not even reached solar minimum yet. And that won't happen for at least another year or two. That a grand solar minimum is very, very unlikely. And my guess is that solar cycle 25 will be similar to or bigger than solar cycle 24. And what's more, the sun seems to be agreeing with me. At the moment, there are three sunspot regions on the sun. We have active region 2735, which actually at the moment seems to be decaying slightly. We have the new region that's been developing very rapidly, active region 2736, uh, which is producing flares at the moment. And we have a new region developing to the north and east of AR2735, which likely to become active region 2737. And that at the moment is just a single spot. So how did we get here? I'm going to show you two movies. The first, the Solar Dynamics Observatory HMI Continuum Channel, which shows the sunspots developing. And secondly, the magnetogram uh, movie from the same instrument showing how the magnetic field develops. You might say some of the predictions I made were spot on, forgive you'll forgive the pun. 16 hours before the flares, I made the following prediction. A sunspot group emerging ahead of active region 2735, also an old cycle region, solar cycle 24, judging by its magnetic polarity at low latitude. If they continue to develop, there may well be interactions between them, which will equal flares. 10 hours before the flares, I up that to a chance of at least small flares in the next day or two. 20 minutes before the flares, I said that 2736 had continued to develop, and now a sea flare was now quite likely and showed these two pictures on the right where we'd had uh, some mid-level B flares. Then this happened. This is the GOES X-ray flux. And you see we have a C5 flare just a few minutes after I predicted one. Now I'm wondering if the Grand Solar Minimum News with all their great knowledge of the sun managed to predict the same sort of thing. Now I'm going to show you a movie of the flare itself taken in the 131 angstrom channel from the SDO AIA instrument. Well, my conclusions from all of this, apart from that Grand Solar Minimum News doesn't know what it's talking about when it's talking about the sun, is that the sun remains in its slow decay phase from solar cycle 24. We still haven't reached solar minimum as yet. The sun is still producing sunspots and minor flares. The current sunspot number is 38, according to the Solar Influences Data Center. And there are already signs of solar cycle 25 appearing, which indicates to me that solar cycle 25 is going to be quite a healthy cycle and that there is a very small likelihood of a grand solar minimum forming uh, anytime soon. So until next time, goodbye.